It says, oh, your grace so free washes over me. And we sing that. We know that. We speak that. We say it. I mean, it's just a known thing. Your, his grace is free. The only problem is our actions do not actually evidence that. And I'll tell you what I mean. We have this ongoing desire or need um, to measure ourselves as whether we've achieved a, an acceptable level of Christianity. Does that make sense? And so what it ends up doing, it ends up uh, setting up this culture of pretending. Pretending that we're okay when we're not. Or comparing ourselves to somebody else so that we can be better. There's all kinds of things that go along with it, and all of them are poison. If we can just remember that His grace is free, and it's a good reminder, too, on how we treat others when they have trespassed us or trespassed in general, and what our response to them should be always first grace.
joyous song of the redeemed. Oh, we're free, free forever. Amen. When death was arrested, my life began. Oh, we're free, free forever. We're free from joyous song. Forever we're free. Come join the song of all the redeemed. We're free, we're free forever. Amen. When death was arrested and my life began. Let's pray. Lord, this is a hard concept to really own. I ask for the moving of your Holy Spirit on this one because it takes way more than human effort to sort this little problem out, this problem of grace. Even your own people, the Jews, tripped over it. They didn't, they didn't get it, and we stand perhaps in judgment of them, but Lord, we don't get it either. Your grace is free, and so are we. Amen.